Hello Claw. my name's Eve and I run a workshop for the Claw programmes on leadersmithing and I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about my coping strategies for this current crisis. I posted one of my leadersmithing cards, you may remember receiving these on one of your courses. I posted the Two of Hearts, which is my character card, um, at the beginning of this situation with a question for you all, which is if you were to get a medal for how you have survived the corona crisis, what would that medal be for? So that's a framing question for my little talk today. Is what, what is it you want to be famous for in your leadership as a result of this current crisis? I actually posted 10 cards, a winning hand on social media, on my Leadersmithing Twitter account, but I'll talk to you about five of them today. So the first one is that character card, the second, the two of, two of hearts. Um, the next one, my second card, is about fuel, and many of you will remember me talking to you about this when we met real time on Claw Horses, and that is the Queen of Clubs. Fuel is about how on earth, how on earth are we going to get through this when every single day feels so trudgy and hard, and it's about paying attention to those very small minor things about your sleep, water, rest, exercise, every single thing you eat because at the moment we're all running on empty and we're all really struggling with incredible levels of anxiety and worry. And the last thing we need is to get ill too. So while you can, please try and be very selfish about husbanding your energy. Think about your battery life. Think about all the things that pep you up, the weather, the flowers, music, funnies online, whatever it might be. And where you can, please avoid those people and those situations that just are dementors in your life because you really don't need that right now. So one of the ways you can really help your leadership during this situation is thinking really clearly about energy and fuel and how can you make the best of what you've currently got. My next card is about control. That's the seven of clubs. And that's because I know from psychometric data that one of the reasons you are a leader is likely to be because you quite like being in control of things. That's one of the reasons you've gravitated towards these positions of seniority. And the thing about control is we don't have a lot right now. We have no idea what's going on in the world. We have no idea what the future will be like. And that can feel really destabilising and make it very hard for you to be a strong leader for others when you're feeling entirely discombobulated yourself. So think about the things you could control. We talked about fuel. You can control whether you're sleeping or at least the parameters around helping you have a good night's sleep. You can control what you're eating, how you're exercising. There are lots of small things you can control. So even if we can't control the coronavirus and we can't control the health of all those people we love and we can't control the economy and the future of the world, Maybe if you can control some small things, doing a crossword or the Sudoku or a jigsaw, those things will give you the strength and the energy to keep being the leader you need to be for all those people around you who are looking to you for some surety in these difficult times. My next card is the Two of Diamonds, and it's about role models, because I think we learn best from others, and probably at the moment you're desperately looking through Facebook and Twitter and feeling dreadful about homeschooling or not baking beautifully or, you know, not creating the most brilliant sonnets or plays or theories of relativity or something that we're all supposed to do when we're in lockdown. For goodness sake, don't put that pressure on yourself. But do look around for sensible people that you would quite like to be like, who seem to be managing to have a laugh, get through the day, get some stuff done. Um, have a look at what they're doing. Don't, don't set yourself too high a target and look at all these people who seem to be entirely unflummoxed by the situation because that's probably not real. But there are probably people close to you, accessible to you, who've got a few tips and, and tricks and things they're trying. So have a look at them and watch what they're doing and talk to them and find out is there anything that they've nailed that you could have a go at just to try something that would feel manageable for you. The other thing, my last card, the Six of Diamonds, is about hope. Hope is so attractive. That's the reason we love the fact it's spring at the moment, because it is such a sign of hope when all those bulbs come out and the quince unfurls its red. 
beautiful red petals and the leaves follow straight after. I've got tadpoles in my pond and all these things make us feel that there is life going on and there is something to be grateful for that may happen in the future. So what can you be hopeful about? What are you hoping for after this? Where will be your first meal, your first hug, your first unsupervised, escort, unescorted trip out? Get that list, get your bucket list about what you're going to do after lockdown. And whenever you're feeling in despair, just have a look at a couple of those things you're going to do to treat yourself for surviving. And wrapping those three up, my first and my last two role models, hope and character, you are a role model for the people who are following you at the moment. So what hope are you offering them? And how are you helping them develop their characters to figure out what they're going to be famous for, for surviving all of this? And you may be able to do that by helping them with their fuel and energy. Where are you noticing people feeling exhausted and run down and unable to ask for help? And what else could you do to help them feel they have some control by delegating small particular things they could do on time and beautifully to make them feel they've got some agency in this process? So those five cards, character, fuel, control, hope and role models, are the ones I particularly commend to you to help you get through this. There are plenty more, as you know, there are 52 in my pack. Pick any that you think might give you something, a mini project, something to focus on because we need you right now. We need the hope that you represent. And a wise person said to me last week, it'll be all right in the end, so if it's not all right yet, it can't yet be the end. Anyway, lots of love to you, and thank you all for hanging on in there.